Good morning, Eagle Nation. Good morning, Eagle Nation. Today is thir- Tuesday, May 10th. It is the 169th day of school. Wherever you... Wherever you may be, please stop, please stand, rise for the this morning Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation, nation under God, invisible, liberty, and justice, and justice for all. Okay, what are we doing today? Actually, we're we're tell who you are, first of all. My name is Emiliano, and today we are doing, in second grade today, we are doing 11 push-ups. All right, why are we doing 11 push-ups? Because there's 11 more days of school. All right, you going to do them with me? Yeah. All right, find a comfortable spot. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, two more. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Did you get eleven in there? Yep. Let's do one more for good measure. Okay. All right, tell them about that song. What was the song they just heard and why'd they hear it? This, this song... This song you just heard was We Don't Talk About Bruno from Encanto. It was dedicated by Kimberly in first grade. In news today. In news today, now. Uh, All right, in news today. You're going to help me with the last part, too. Good morning, Eagle Nation. In news today, we've got a couple of different things going on before we get to our words of wisdom. First, as we continue our celebration of Asian Pacific Heritage Month, we are reminded of our history. Sometimes we'll celebrate some of the lighter moments and spotlight some uh, famous Asian Pacific Americans. And sometimes we'll look at our history because knowing your history helps you to, as Maya Angelou would say, know better and do better. And so, on our website today, we've pictured uh, Lady Justice, and Lady Justice was based upon the Greek goddess Themis. Do you know why her eyes were closed? Why? Because, as the judge, her job should be to make decisions about people's actions, not based on some other outward appearance, how they look. And we look today, then, at something called the People versus Hall in 1854 in which a man with the last name of Hall committed a murder, and they were looking for testimony. But who was allowed to testify against Mr. Hall? Listen to this. In the notorious 1854 California Supreme Court case of People v. Hall, Mr. George Hall had been convicted of murder through the testimony of three Chinese eyewitnesses. On appeal, the court disqualified the testimony. Disqualify means the court said, sorry, that testimony is no good. California banned specific groups. Specifically, it named Negroes, Blacks, Indians, and Mulattoes from testifying against whites. George Hall was a white man. This judge became legislator, meaning the person who basically reset the law or wrote the law, in, by interpreting through his convoluted logic that the Chinese were Indian and or black. The opinion spewed vile racism, citing the eminent threat that if Chinese people can testify against whites, then they would become full citizens, which many at the time did not want to allow. So this marked the beginning of how discrimination against Asians became the norm in our very own nation. Hall, incidentally, got away with murder, and that's wrong. Know your history, know better so you can do better. Now some words of wisdom so you can get to the business of teaching and learning, and today is on the topic of gratitude or thanks. In America, we are very fortunate. Most of us can simply walk into the nearest grocery store and buy everything we need for a great meal. Since it's important to take time periodically to give thanks, we want you to think today about this when you sit down to your breakfast or your lunch here at school or even your evening meal at home. Think about the many hands 
that worked long and hard hours to bring you all that food on your table or in your lunchbox. Be grateful, not just to those who cook the food, but to everyone who made it possible, from the farmer, to the produce man, to the truck driver, to the grocer. In Vietnam, they say it this way, when eating a fruit, think of the person who planted the tree. Have a wonderful and safe day today and enjoy with gratitude all that you have to eat. There's something to think about. There's something to think about. This is? This is... Who are you? Emiliano. What else should you do today? What should everybody do today? What do you want them to do? Make, Make it, it a great day or not. The choice is yours.